Hi, you guys. Um, I am taking a beautiful walk right now. Oh my gosh, it's just absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see these trees above me, but it is something else. This is just a beautiful, beautiful road that I'm on right now. And I was sitting here thinking about spiritual deafness and how sometimes I feel like I have cotton in my ears and I'm like just not in a place where I'm truly able to hear God's voice. And it's so frustrating because of course I want to be able to hear the word of God. I want to be able to hear his, his, his voice, but it's like, I've got cotton in my ears sometimes. And so I just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that, you know, all obstruction from God's voice will be removed, that I will have, you know, absolute um, openness, openness to receiving and hearing God's word and being uh, sensitive to hearing what he's saying because I used to struggle with that. I used to be like, God's not talking to me, you know, he's not really communicating with me. But um, God, God really is communicating with us, you guys. He is absolutely communicating with us. And he wants to have dialogue with us all day long. And that just seemed really far-fetched for so long. I just thought, how is it possible? How could the God of the universe be talking to me? And how am I ever going to get to a place where I can hear him and receive his word and be able to take heed and be able to not just hear it, but respond to it. And so today I just pray, Father God, that you would help us to take the cotton out of our ears, be completely receptive to what you have to say to us today, and to not be rebellious and try to pretend like we don't have the time or we don't have the resources or we're just not holy enough to be able to hear you, God, that is just a lie from the pit of hell. I always love to say that because it's true. Satan wants us to believe that we um, will never hear God's voice. Satan wants us to believe that um, God's not talking to us or that he's talking to other people, but that he's not speaking to us. And he wants us to believe that there's no hope and that prayer is a waste of time. And it's just, um, it's just heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking that not only is that a lie, but we believe that lie. You know, we really, really do believe that lie. So many of us do believe that lie. So I'm gonna take a moment right now uh, and just connect with the Holy Spirit. And I hope you'll join me to um, just take a moment out for some some real prayer right now where we just take a couple minutes out of our day to stop and talk to the Lord and believe that he's listening to us and believe that we are being trans, trans it's, it's a transcendent prayer and that um, when we throw the prayers up, he throws the blessings down, okay? So Father God in heaven, thank you for life, thank you for breath, Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've shattered every single illusion that we have that we can't speak to you, that we can't open our mouths and speak to you at any time of day. Lord, your gates are open 24-7. Help us to realize that what you desire most, what you crave most, is a relationship with us, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you just want our hearts. You want all of us. You want us to talk to you like we would a best friend. And we thank you, Jesus, that, you know, we're taking the time right now just to connect with you and to scale that 50 foot wall that Satan would like us to believe that we have to scale to get to you. But there is no scaling walls. There is no scaling walls when it comes to you. You're right in front of us. You're always present. You're alpha and the omega. You're omnipotent. You're omnipresent. You're everywhere at the same time. So help us to have that supernatural understanding of who you truly are, God. Thank you, Jesus, for making prayer effortless. 
thank you for helping us to get to a place where we just know in our heart of hearts that we are communing with the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, the King of the universe. Uh, you know, just help us to understand that when we're talking to you, Jesus, we're engaging in ultimate reality. Coming! That's my sister. She wants me now. But, um, yeah, Father, help us to remember that when we're talking to you, we're engaging with ultimate reality. Reality. You are ultimate reality, Jesus. We love you. We worship you. We praise you. We ask you to protect us. We ask you to fill our hearts with fuel, Christian fuel, which comes from praying and speaking to you and loving you and adoring you and reading your word. Oh, just help us to take a big, deep breath and stop making this relationship with you so complicated because that's the devil. The devil is what makes this relationship seem complicated. And it's an ease with G's. I love to say that, Lord. And I know that's okay with you because it, there is an ease with you. You did the work on the cross. The work is finished. All we have to do is show up. All we have to do is open our mouth. All we have to do is confess. All we have to do is tell you the truth. All we have to do is love you. All we have to do is say yes. That's it. That's all you ask of us is to say yes to this relationship and participate in it. So we repent, Lord, for making it more complicated than it needs to be. And we love you, Jesus. We love you so much, Father. We give you all the praise, all the props. We lift you up right now, Father God. You are at the right hand of the Father in all of your glory. You are Jesus. You are perfect, holy, holy love. You are the perfect, uh, you, you know, you're the perfect expression of God Almighty. And we love you and we, and we, we adore you and we give you 1,000% of our being. We submit to you right now. We say yes to you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. Amen, amen, amen. Guys, I pray that wherever you are, if you've been experiencing any stress today, if anything's been overwhelming you today, I pray that you can just take it to the cross and just make it easy. Just give your life to God right now. Just take a moment to say yes to God and you know, Satan will go running in the other direction. He just will. Because every time you say the name of Jesus, there's nothing else he can do. He's left, you know, completely defenseless. He just has to run. So saying the name Jesus, Jesus out loud, saying, I love you, Jesus. I'm covered by you, Jesus. You know, you have my soul. Yeah! Okay! I'm missing... Um, I'm missing the little goats being milk fed. They're, we bought new go goats and we're gonna feed them. So in Jesus' name we pray, going to feed these goats. I wish I could do it on tape, but I don't think she'll let me. Maybe she will and I'll do a part two today. But God bless you guys and tomorrow, it's gonna be a nice long one, so be ready. Bye, peace of Christ, love you.